Welcome to our morning devotional again. Today, again, we're talking about uh, Daniel. We're talking about Daniel and his three friends. They were taken captive. They were brought into the court of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, a thousand miles away from where they're from. All of their identity, their culture, their religion is stripped from them. And Daniel and his three friends are very wise, tactful, and humble to be able to request that what they are being trained to do uh, will not encroach on some of their own desires to follow God the way God would want them. So they ask for their own food, uh, vegetables and water, instead of the meat and wine that would have been offered to idols. And what I think rises from this is a real connection for us as New Testament believers. I think of Romans chapter 12, verse 2, and it says, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. So what kind of comes from that is those two words, conform and transform. Conformers are people who change based on pressure from outside of themselves. Transformers are people who change based on power from within themselves. And so Daniel and his three friends were transformers. Despite the fact that they were being trained in all of these different things, they probably benefited greatly from the education, the three-year education they got. There was that one category where they didn't want to defile themselves. They didn't want to disobey God and in some ways worship the idols because the food was offered to those idols. And so what I can see from this is these two responses. The first is they gave, they gave themselves to God and we are to give ourselves to God. Just like Proverbs 4 says, guard your heart for from it everything flows. And then the other one is, and I think this is the key, right, is to be gracious towards authority. They were respectful, humble, and kind. They made a request. They even negotiated that request with somebody who had, again, ripped them from everything that they were familiar with. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7. So it's when the Lord takes pleasure in anyone's way, he causes their enemies to make peace with them. Instead of outright refusing to eat the king's food, they were wise and they were tactful, they were kind, and they were gentle in their approach. So look what happened. After all of this, what happened to these guys when they said, we're not going to eat the, the food? Verse 15 says, At the end of the ten days, they looked healthier, better nourished than any of the young men who ate the royal food. So God honored their desire to be people of God in exile. I hope we can do the same.